Hi class, my name is Tamia Jacobs and I am a senior communications major concentrating in radio and television here at Alabama State University. Today I'm going to be answering some of the questions that are given to me by the chair and I'm just going to be going off the top of my head. So starting with why did you choose this major? I chose communications because I've always been into public speaking and writing. When I was younger I did a lot of poetry recitation contests and spelling bees and just writing contests, so it's always been a part of me. Coming to college, I couldn't see myself doing anything else. And I chose radio and television because I initially wanted to be a news anchor. And right now, I'm just interning in all aspects of the field. So communications is a really large field and there's a lot of different opportunities. So that's why it's perfect for me. Uh, what do you plan to do in your career? So I just kind of answered that a little bit. Initially, I wanted to be a news anchor, but I have interned in public housing um, at the Housing Authority. So I'm into, I'm open to being a public relations specialist, also open um, to being a speech writer and maybe even going into academia. So it just really depends on where the opportunity is and you know where life leads me. What about you stands out when people first meet you? Um, this is a funny one. I guess it would be my height because I am really tall. I'm 6'2", so I would say that's the first thing that stands out to people. Where do you fit into this discipline? Um, like I said, I am a radio and television concentrated concentration major. So I fit into the radio and television aspect. However, I have done news writing for different publications. So I would say I fit into a lot of different parts of communications. Um, it really just depends on wherever you put me, I can adapt, except for social media managing. I'm not the best at social media, but I do do it for my sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. So I try everything that I can. Um, what are some story ideas that you would like to produce for the show? I would like um, our show to focus on a lot of social justice issues if possible. I recently read a book called Blackberries and Mulattoes that was given to me by one of my mentors and um, it basically talked about race relations between light skin and dark skin so if we can possibly produce a show that had that conversation um, with some different aspects from different students and how that kind of has affected them throughout their life I think that would be really good to um, see from a college perspective. Um, what are some of your strongest att attributes? I would say public speaking, also being personable. I would say writing is one of my strongest attributes as well. And um, into that, I would say honesty, but that can also be a weakness depending on who you're speaking to. And what do you want to learn from this course experience? Just basically how to be even better at editing and you know maybe getting some more experience behind the camera as opposed to just being in front of the camera because that's something that I always can sort of touch up on you know editing wasn't something that I started off doing so I'm always interested in learning more about that and what's the most significant news story of your generation there's so many that I can remember I was actually born two days before 9-11 so I always say I was born into a tragedy and then I graduated high school in a tragedy with the COVID pandemic, which is another really big story of our generation that kind of just rocked the whole um, makeup of the world and we're still kind of recovering from that. As well as a lot of social justice stories as far as police brutality goes and race relations in America with cases like starting with Trayvon Martin. I was in, I think, elementary school when that happened and then like the Breonna Taylor case, the George Floyd case. So there's a lot of different um, stories that impacted my generation. What is the difference between reporting the news compared to being a news pundit? Well, reporting the news basically involves you being in front of the camera and you're the person who is delivering the information to the public. Whereas a news pundit is called upon to speak on a specific topic, I would say, um, to, like a specific topic that they are an expert in on a specific aspect of news. So as opposed to, it's more of like the interview person, but they're also informed on the subject of news. I hope that made sense. And how do you define public affairs? This is interesting because I actually recently finished an internship that was dealing with public affairs. I would say public affairs basically has to do with the whole management of policy and 
all sort of aspects that affect the public interest. So um, being behind the scenes of a company, knowing how things that you put out into the world will pertain to what the public will perceive of your company. So basically all things dealing with public interest, I would say. Who are your broadcast role models and why? Um, I have so many. One of them is J the late Jovita Moore. She recently passed away. Um, she was a news anchor out in Atlanta and I just really loved the way that she was always so classy in front of the camera and she really just always presented herself really well. Um, Ava DuVernay, she's not necessarily a news broadcaster, but everything that she does, I think, speaks to the culture and her being a communications person and being in front of the camera and also behind it is really important to see, as well as, of course, Oprah Winfrey, Tamron Hall, just all the black women who are making a difference in the world of film and TV and news. So that's all the questions that there is. So I hope you guys enjoyed my introduction. Again, my name is Tamia, and I am a senior communications major. And um, you can reach me at my email, tamiajacobs at gmail.com. And yes, thank you for watching.